There go the magpies. Well, we're just at the end of 2020, what a year it's been. I'm just going to show what we're doing here is building a giant a globe artichoke bed and I've cleared here you can see several square meters of soil dug it all right down to remove all the weeds and the stones you can see a large pile of stones over there in the corner dug it all down nice and deep nice soft crumbly topsoil I'm going to level it all back again put some wood chip down and some boards and then build several large beds to house the globe artichokes we'll come back again once we start the leveling process well it's a bit of a cold frosty start this morning but the ground isn't frozen too hard, just a little bit of frost on it. So I'm going to get the covers back and I'm going to level back all this lovely topsoil. Lump of ice. Get the sheets back. kept the sheets on for the past couple of days because we've had some very heavy rain but by covering it up it's kept it reasonably dry and soft and crumbly otherwise it just gets really sticky when the weather's wet and impossible to work with so it should be really easy just to spade and shovel this all back I'm just going to break these lumps of earth up with the fork a little bit and bagged up for the winter and it's a bit compacted. Right, it doesn't matter if it's a bit lumpy because that can all just stay down the bottom of the bed. Give it a good shovel. I'm going to move the whole mound. That's going to take quite a while to do. Because it's already been dug over, it's really soft and actually quite easy to move, even though there's a lot of it. The bed's already starting to take shape. Have to level it off to ground level, and then we can put some boards down. A few more spadefuls in this corner, just to level this one out. As you can see, I've had to dig down quite deep to get all the roots and the stones and the glass and the plastic out which there was a lot of but it means that the uh, artichoke beds which are going to be about this level have got all of that underneath which the roots can go down into really deep so they'll have a really good start in life with nice deep rich soil like this let's use the fork for this bit because it's a bit frosty and icy at the top there look at that lovely rich crumbly soil no weeds, no stones, no plastic, no broken glass, any of that stuff, it's all gone. I've had to more or less go through all of this by hand, digging it up, breaking it into pieces and getting all the rubbish out. But it's all worth it in the end because it means I won't have to do this, hopefully ever again. And the artichoke plants will be happy here forever after. These two robins have been following me around for the past few days. I suspect they are possibly a pair, the female being the bigger of the two. It's nearly the longest day of the year today, and you can see the shadows are very long and the sun is very, very low. As you can see, the bed is slowly starting to take shape, just levelling it off. Just going to move a bit more of that from that end over to this end, raise the level slightly, then we can compact it down a little bit. I've already nearly finished levelling it off, just going to smooth off this top bit here. There you go, that's perfect. More or less finished levelling off. I'm going to put some boards down, some wood chip, and then build some little raised beds for the two artichoke plants and one rhubarb root that I've got to plant out on the right here. I'm just going to pop some wood chips onto the new path here finally get across this area. Nice thick layer of wood chips there. That will stop the path getting too sticky and muddy when it rains and it also inhibits the weeds from germinating and growing there. It's a 
Today is New Year's Day 2021 and it started off with a super hard frost. The ground is frozen nearly completely solid. Unfortunately because it was covered up it hasn't frozen too hard so I can at least make a start with getting some stakes down to mark out the beds. Despite the frost I think we can make some progress today. And here we come to the bit I really enjoy most. We've basically got a blank canvas, completely empty, nothing here. I'm going to plan on where to put the beds. Kindly supplied by my local brewery, some pallets I cut up. I'm going to mark out two large artichoke beds and one small rhubarb bed. And the next two pieces of wood. I'm going to use the slightly smaller pieces to mark out where the rhubarb bed is going to go. One can go there. Now that's obviously not permanent, that's just to give me a visual indication of where the beds are going to go and then I can build them properly. Hello Robin, you've come to help, have you? Chunky stakes up, will do. And there, and there. Next one down that side. Throw it at a right angle. And some more stakes. That's a big one. And stake, and another stake. Just going to pop this board down so I can walk on the ground a bit better. And side on the floor. The ground is so soft I can just push these pieces of wood straight in. Two on each side. There we go. Outline of the bed completed. So there you can see it. Bed number one starting to take shape. I might add another layer of edging on the top so we can get a really thick layer of topsoil and compost and mulch to go around the uh, artichoke plants. What I'm going to do here is fill this up with high quality soil that I dug from another bed, mix in some leaf mould and some compost and some hops and make a nice lovely home for the artichoke seedling that I'm going to plant here soon. Trying to make a start on the second bed here. Let's pop one board down here. And there are some stakes. And another board along the front here. There, there. One there. A steak and another steak. Okay, that's with three pieces in place. Steak, steak. Okay, that's the fourth piece in place. Right, that's the outline of the two artichoke beds in place. I'm just going to add some wood chip around the side so that I can gain easy access to them. Chips away. A bit frozen solid unfortunately but they'll thaw out in time I think. Well, it's a bit of a cold wintry start this morning with a stiff easterly breeze temperatures near zero but at least the ground's not frozen. I'm going to be adding the leaf mould to the beds to form a, a nice base of fresh leaf mould and add some more topsoil, hops, uh, compost and manure and whatever we can find and then mix it all up. We're just going to get some buckets of leaf mould Bed number two. Two buckets of leaf mould. Seems a good start. This is my pair of robins who've been following me around all winter. It's quite a cold day, so they're obviously quite desperate for any food they can find. Found a few worms in there. I'll just quickly level off this pile of leaf mould. Spread it out a bit before we add the topsoil. What we've got here is a nice big bag. full of a uh, beautiful crumbly topsoil which I dug out from one of the previous uh, pumpkin beds from last year. What I tend to do is, is rotate the soil around between the beds quite a lot so that you haven't got the same crop using it year after year so the pumpkins have got some fresh soil from the asparagus beds and we can use this to feed the artichokes. Okay let's pour in the topsoil. Topsoil away. Look at that. Perfect start in life for the artichokes. A lovely crumbly topsoil with loads and loads of organic material and quite a few worms in there. Always a good sign that there's worms. Let's hide that from the robin. 
Well, today started off a rather cold and frosty January morning. You can see the sun is just creeping above the trees there. That's about as high as it will get at this time of year. The ground's a little bit frozen solid, but we can carry on with the artichoke beds. I'm just going to do the last finishing touches, which is to add some compost and then cover with cardboard. And then we'll come back once the seedlings have started to grow in a few months' time. As you can see, I've put some covering down overnight to keep the wildlife and the frost away from the soil. Just going to whip these covers off quickly. That's a little bit frozen under there, but we can still work with it. As there are any small plants, I'll just add a little bit of compost in the middle just to feed the small roots. Not super broken down, but by the time planting comes, I think this will be broken down enough for the plants to, to get working. The final touch here will be to quickly add some cardboard. Here's the robin. Putting cardboard down keeps the frost and the rain and the wildlife away from the bed, it keeps it nice and warm, reasonably dry, and lets the compost and the soil decompose ready for planting. So we're going to come back in a few months' time and plant the artichoke seedlings. So I'll see you then. And there go the magpies flying back to their nest again.